man, it's uh, kind of, I don't know, man, it's kind of, it's a shock. Uh, two years went by quick for me, and, you know, I'm going to go out with a bang, you know, last game. For the seniors, I mean, a lot of guys you played with, you know, gotten to know really well over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. What's it like taking the field with those guys? Man, it's a, it's a great feeling, um, taking, those, taking the field with those guys for one more time at home, um, knowing that we're going to give it everything we got, and knowing that, like, I'm going out there fighting for them every game. How would you rate your BYU experience? By scale from 1 to 10, how would you say your experience at BYU has been? Um, <coughs> man, uh, it's kind of a little football-wise been 10. Um, can't get any better than this, you know, going to travel around the world, seeing different cities and going to different states. It's been an awesome experience for me. Um, so I was, yeah, it's a 10. 10? Yeah. <coughs> What's, what makes BYU unique? What makes it special? Uh, just the atmosphere. I feel like it's a, uh, it's a, well, especially since it's a different culture for me, I feel like it's, that's the difference and that's what makes it unique, it's different. So I feel like if I can fit in here, I can fit in anywhere in the world. So. <laughs> <laughs> how has it changed you? How has it, how has it made you grow? Um, it's just made me grow, like be more responsible as a person and as a man and, you know, coming out and taking care of my daily responsibilities. I feel like that's how I've grown coming out of junior college and being 20 years old. Now I'm 22, so I feel like I've grown a lot since I've gotten here. Yeah, what's what when you leave here? What will you take with you? Uh, all the different lessons that you know, uh, God's taught me through being here, and you know, through the different life life lessons that my coaches they put me through, and coming out here and fighting on that field every day. You know, definitely knowing that I can push myself harder than I thought I could, and those are some of the lessons I'll take out into the world, and you know, apply myself with. Taysom came up today and chatted with us for the first time since the injury. What what's his? What do you see from him just as far as what he's been? For the team, you know, since he got hurt, um, just a a sense of it's not the end. You know, it's not the end for him. You know, football is not the end for people. And knowing that he still has another year and he can come back and you know do great things, the things that he, we know that he can do. And so, I feel like that him is just like uh, seeing him in like the locker room and on the practice field. It's like a like a sign of hope for this program and for this university. You know that he's not he's not going to give up and. You know, this team and this program won't give up no matter what, no matter what happens, no matter what the consequences or, you know, things that, like things happen all the time. So it's just hope. Being a, being a senior, having a, did you guys rally around him? Did you guys have some personal experience with him while he was going through his trials with his injury? Yeah, uh, you know, we always rally around everybody that gets hurt. You know, man, just, you know, just shouting out to him and knowing that we are here for him no matter, you know, if he's hurt or if he's with us, he's not with us, you know, on and off the field wise. and knowing that we are here for him and he, and he knows that we're playing, you know, for him. Do you wish you had one more year with him? Yeah, uh, yeah, I kind of did. I, mean, I kind of wish I was a junior right now and having one more year to come back. But, you know, things happen. It wasn't my path. Yeah. What's up?